Well, parents of newborns will get an additional cash gift of $2,000 on top of the baby bonus that they're already entitled to. It's called the Baby Bonus Plus and will apply to all citizens from January this year. This was announced today along with other details that make up the enhanced marriage and parenthood package. Five kids. New measures to support marriage and parenthood were announced by Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung at the recent National Day rally. Giving details on Tuesday on the sidelines of a visit to a preschool centre in Seng Kang was Minister Grace Fu, who oversees population issues. To defray out-of-pocket costs for parents during a child's infancy, there will be a baby bonus plus cash gift of $2,000. This is on top of the current baby bonus of between six and $8,000, which will now apply to all children. So parents will get a total of $8,000 each for the first and second child and $10,000 each for the third child and above. The baby bonus plus will be disbursed when the child is between 12 and 18 months. When we looked at the entire package and discussing with many uh, couples, um, many of them have said that their needs for 0 to 18 months uh, perhaps is higher because of uh, you know various expenses plus the fact that many of them are actually looking after their children in a very informal way because when the child is very young at the infant stage they felt that it's more comfortable have them in a home environment uh, so they would seek out informal nanny care arrangement uh, so this amount of money that we thought would be good to spread out over this 0 to 18 months and looking at what's already available in baby bonus uh, cash portion, we thought that having this staggered into the 12-18 months will really be more meaningful to the couples. The Medisafe grant for newborns will go up from $3,000 to $4,000. Ms Fu said the money will be enough to help pay for a child's MediShield life premiums from birth to age 21. As for the additional one week of paid paternity leave, Ms Fu said it will be voluntary for now because of feedback from employers. They felt that uh, it's because of the current situation with labour crunch and also uh, restructuring that's going on in the company, that perhaps we should give company more time to adjust to these new requirements. Ms Fu did not rule out making the additional week-long paternity leave mandatory in the next few years. For a start, the public service with a workforce of 141,000 will take the lead in implementing the enhanced paternity leave. Now, Ms. Fu again stressed that encouraging marriage and parenthood involves all stakeholders. This includes the wider community and even employers, encouraging couples to place having children high up on their priorities.